Hello everyone and welcome to episode 32 of the TW2020 Pro Wrestling Noah series here on the channel as we are at the four year mark. It's crazy to think we are officially as far as, uh, you know, from 2011 to 2014. Crazy. We have booked for so many shows now. I think we're almost at 275 if I remember correctly here. Let's just take a quick look. I don't know why I scrolled like this. But there we go. Yeah, we're 275 will be the very next show we do. So that is crazy to think about as far as a lot of shows a lot of matches we have seen and uh, i think we have quite the show here for this episode two shows yeah we got the miss memorial show and then we have the navigation with breeze show as far as the final show and of course the tour shows and whatnot but the final shows look like this we're gonna go through the uh, the memorial show first as in the main event a GHC Tag Team Battle Matchup. Kenta Mihara and Keno get a huge opportunity to main event the show against the Kings Wrestling. So, obviously, Kings Wrestling just winning their belts for the fourth time in this series at the previous episode. Uh, but Kenta Mihara and Keno, they had beaten them during the Global Tag League this year. So, I felt like they were a nice like, first contenders for the Kings Wrestling. That should be a lot of fun. In the co made event, if Brave of Goshizaki and Nimi Jamar Fuji. The Los Ingobernables de Japón as the champion Tetsuya Naito and Manabu Soya team up to take on Goshizaki and Amy Jamar Fuji. I'm very excited to see how that match, ha as far as how that's going to go. Then we got a number one contendership for the GTC Heavyweight title as to see who's going to take on Tetsuya Naito at the Navigation with Breeze show. Is it going to be Kinsuke Sasaki, a man who has never had a title match in, as far as a heavyweight title matchup in this series? For the years we had him, and the, even the couple of you know, the years we didn't have him, just the entire time from 2011 to 2014, we, he never had a title match. He might get his first one here against Takeshi Morishima, obviously, before the mod. You know, he's someone who's had them all. You know, he's been a Triple Crown champ. He's been a five-time IWGP Heavyweight Champion, and he's been a GHC Heavyweight Champion. So, obviously, someone who's done it all, but still, at his age, still wanting to get another championship added to his resume, his already lengthy resume, and then Takeshi Morishima, a guy who's wanting to get back to the top of the mountain, and beat Kensuke Sasaki in that matchup. That should be a lot of fun. Then we're going to have a six-man, Strong Big Japan, Shuji Shikawa, taking on all of, uh, well, not all of Money and Mayhem, uh, the, the top three of Money and Mayhem, Kazuchika Okada, Tomorishi, and Oroki Goto. You know, it's those three men looking to bounce back after having losing a fair in the last episode. As far as Money and Mayhem losing their belts, not even having them for a week uh, before dropping them back to the Kings of Wrestling. I'd like to see what they could do. Strong Big Japan are looking to bounce back after losing their belts, too, at uh, Navigation of the Future after being the first team eliminated. And, uh, you know, Shuji Shikawa, of course, being the Emerald Openweight Champion, looking to maybe get a solidifying win before his title match with uh, King Devitt at Navigation with Free. So we'll see how that goes. And then because we're going to have Nakajima... And uh, Yuji Hino, because we're having Kings of Wrestling versus Kenta Miyahara and Keno, felt like it made sense to have some type of diamond ring as far as um, having diamond ring with, uh, you know, in Kensuke, too, with Morishima. We needed to have another member, really, of diamond ring. It just felt like to have, instead of, like, Nakajima and Zack Sabre Jr., felt like we could have done, you know, as far as Morishima and Yuji Hino, you know, it just felt like the Muscle Bombers scenario of that equation made more sense. So that should be a lot of fun. Then a number one contendership matchup for the GHC Junior Heavyweight Tag Team titles was Red Dragon's going to take on Speed Muscle. Speed Muscle look to really make a big time impact, you know, and as far as whoever wins that match, of course, is going to take on the Junior Tag Champs, Kushida and uh, Rice Kataguchi and Navigation with Breeze. And of course, after the Navigation with Breeze tour, we have the Junior Heavyweight Tag League. So that could really change a lot of things. That, you know, if Kushida and Rice Gucci can go into that Junior Heavyweight Tag League as the tag champs. Or will one of these two teams here in Red Dragon and Speed Muscle be the team to we'll go into that tag league as the champs? We shall see. As the Great Sasuke taking on Zack Sabre Jr. Just felt like we needed a Junior Heavyweight singles matchup. And this one made... Probably the most sense, you know, Zach losing to Pac at the previous show and Sasuke doing very well still at his age, so it felt like it made sense. But to open up the show, another brave LIJ matchup as it's a junior heavyweight tag team matchup. Sushi Aoki and Katora Suki against Momono Shishin Tag, Daisuke Arata and Atsushi Katoge. That should be a fun matchup as well. I really like that, you know, Masao Memorial show. 
And I think the navigation of three shows should go over really well as well. We're going to do, as far as, um, hopefully, going to do Pac. You know, uh, well, yeah, well, but we will be doing Pac and Kota Ibushi for the Junior Boy title. And, you know, the Emerald Open Way title matchup with King Devitt and Shuji Shikawa. And, we, you know, we're also going to have a heavyweight title matchup as well. No tag team title matchup, but we'll have a junior heavyweight tag team title matchup. Uh, I want the tag team title matchup to main event the uh, show that the uh, Great Boy General Saka Volume 3, which is going to be, like, after the junior heavyweight tag league tour happens. You know, that we're kind of thinking ahead, but that's just kind of what we have spaced out and ready to go. Not really any tour goals or anything like that. You know, we're pretty, like, uh, ready to go, I think, as far as this tour with uh, not really needing to build up anybody or anything like that. As far as what I would like for us to kind of have for the next couple of shows, main event-wise, that's a, a good question, because uh, I really have no idea uh, what I'm wanting to do as far as from that perspective. Uh, but, well, yeah, we'll go back to the Axe City. As, um, yeah, I mean, with having the Diamond Ring, uh, as far as King's Wrestling main event for the Masao Memorial Show... Maybe a six-man, have Miyahara, Keno, and then either having, uh, well, it's, I guess we could have Nakajima instead of Kinsuke there, or we could have, because, yeah, let's, I think we're going to go with Nakajima, I guess, that, that'll probably be for the best, because I know Kings of Wrestling are going to make this match deliver, and then uh, we'll have Devitt, Katsuhiku, Nakajima, we could also use Shuji Shikawa, I guess. That could be fun. Yeah, let's do that, actually. And then Miyahara and Kano. Pretty fun match, though. If I do say so myself. 20 minutes. And uh, we're going to have Ishikawa beat Devitt. Going to beat the challenger the first night. For uh, the next matchup here, as far as the co-main, uh, maybe a six-man again. Uh, have Go. Yeah, let's do Go, Marfuchi, and Ishimori. And then against Naito, Manabu Soya, and Daisuke Rada. Little L.I.J. Brave six-man. Like in this match as well. I really want to give Brave the win, though, to be fair, because they've kind of been losing a little bit. And LIJ, even though they're now officially a stable, they have been getting some wins over those guys. So it's, we're kind of in a weird spot. But I actually think I'm going to give it to Daisuke Rada. I don't think about it. We'll have him beat Ishimori. We'll keep Ishimori strong, though. We're trying to make a guy, you know, in, in Daisuke Rada for sure. Very good match, though. I like that matchup a lot. Uh, let's see here. As far as what we're going to do for kind of the undercard stuff now, or the mid-card stuff, and going forward uh, as far as that goes. Yeah, maybe something with Kaisuke Ishii, maybe something with him and Goto. That always does well as far as uh, teaming those guys up. Let's see here. As far as who would kind of make the most sense? Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe do Suzuki and Tai Chi. Yeah, because Goda does have his bruised eye. Oh, well, we're going to have Suzuki get the win, though. He's going to be beating Kaisuke Ishii to kind of help him out a little bit. Get him into the uh, neutral side of momentum. I'm going to go back to a singles matchup if we can. Kind of see Walter and um, Takeshi Rikio. Or not uh, Takeshi Rikio. Uh, I was thinking either Amore. I have to have him take Amore because Walter's... Yeah, he's better than that. Oh, that's right, they have poor chemistry. Uh, you know, we've done 
as far as uh, when's the last time we done the a no a Walter matchup? Because I want to say it was yeah, it was, uh, day two of the navigation to the future tour. So yeah, I think we can have this thirteen. Uh, Walter getting the win. We won't have it go all out or anything. And our two undercard matchups, as far as thinking Koji Yamato and someone. See who could use a win that's like a junior. The extra zone's always a good shout. I was about to say, they had one back in February. It was a 39, but that's okay. Bump it down a little bit to 10. That would be like the opener, but we need to still the show matchup. This, yeah. Maybe something with speed muscle. Uh, yeah, Takashita and Endel. That'd be fun. It's funny, this is going to be set to steal the show, but. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun because uh, Yoshi, you know, has been doing incredibly well. His performances, I mean, this should go very, very well. I like this show a lot. Excited to see you know, we got the Brave LIJ story going on, we got Diamond Ring and Kings Wrestling, with also Shuji Shikao getting involved as well. So, yeah, we got a lot going on. He had 39, but Yoshitone and Koji Yamada, they have great chemistry, just Yoshitone's not really over, but we'll get there. We will hopefully get there. The 63 for Speed Muscle and Takashita and Endo as uh, the Lightning Spiral for Yoshino at 10 12. Good little matchup there. Got the crowd buzzing. 51 for Walter and Tanoe. It's Walter getting the win again. 12 42. 70 for Hiroki Goto and Kaisuke Ishii against Minoru Suzuki and Taichi. So, yeah, I mean, even though Goto is. Injured, he, he still was the best guy in the match. Suzuki gets outperformed by Tai Chi. That's awesome. Tai Chi doing awesome. 70 for this matchup as well as Daisuke Harada pinning Tai Chi Shimori with the Harada pistol. Yeah, I mean, they were close to outperforming him. I mean, Naito got outperformed by Tai Chi Shimori. It's just crazy. But I love that brave six man team, obviously. It's very, very good. An 83 for our main event as Shuji Shikawa pinning King Devitt with the Splash Mountain. As they had Hero then 86, 77 for Shuji Shikawa, 76 for King David, 75 for Claudio, 67 for Gendo Miyahara, and 64 for Keno. Good stuff. Good first day. As on to the second day we go. Alright, for night two, you know, I really... You, know, you try to get something new as far as I think a Kinsuke teaming up with uh, either probably do Kensuke and Nakajima against Yujihino and Morishima. I think that's a pretty a pretty solid main event for this second night as we got uh, Sakura passing on psychology to Takashita and selling to Tetsuya Endo. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. A couple of big time singles matches there because this was back when, you know, last year we did the uh, JC Emerald uh, open weight uh, as far as the title tournament. So there was a lot of big time singles matches that were happening on this tour. Uh, last year, uh, I still want to do a six-man title, but I didn't want to do on this tour just because I was like, ah, it was probably not a good idea to start that. I think it's uh, maybe the uh, the last, uh, as far as that last tour, maybe try to figure something out, or the first navigation of uh, 2015, maybe, potentially. Uh, probably be a fun little idea. So I was just kind of thinking way ahead. But uh, for our main event, Definitely that Nakajima Kensuke matchup against Muscle Bombers. Which, uh, yeah, I would say they are split. Uh, they've only had this match take place twice, uh, 2012 and 2014, and they've both split it back and forth. I think we're going to have the Muscle Bombers team get the win, actually. I think we're going to have Yuji Hino beat Nakajima. I like that. So Kinsuke's the agent. That's a fun little main event, though, I think. As far as the other main event... Um... Maybe, um... I think we're gonna do Naito... 
Or maybe even not with Soya. Yeah, let's try. Uh, no, let's keep Naito, actually. Uh, about Naito and Harada against Go and Ishimori. And so we're going to have Ishimori get that win back over Daisuke Harada. It's a solid one, too. You know, I, I think the first night definitely had a probably better co-main, but I think it still should go over pretty well. It's for the uh, rest of the card. Maybe a couple of singles matches between Speed Muscle and Red Dragon. So we'll do uh, Yoshihino, Bobby Fish. I think you all know who's winning this one. Yeah, it's uh, Yoshihino. Getting the first win. Love it, Scepter Steal the Show. And then uh, having Ricky Doi and Kyle O'Reilly, which would be a really good match. I doubt this will ever take place, but I guess you can never say never as far as uh, the win that was very thin. That would be pretty awesome if AEW would team up with Dragon Gate, but then they already have, like... I'm still nervous about how they're going to do the DDT Alliance because I love my DDT, my DDT boys, but, like, Takashita's going to be fine, and, and, like, the top guys will, will do fine, but I just feel like most of those guys uh, are going to get fucked over. By that alliance, but maybe not. Maybe not. But, uh, like, they'll protect Takashi just because, you know, Omega, you know, it was pretty protective of the top guys, I think. But we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. But that will give this 20 minutes, though. We're going to give this a good bit of time since that's going to be a pretty good matchup. So, two undercard matches. As I will, Takashi and, and Nindo have singles matches as far as. Uh, yeah, Yoshitone. Yeah, we're just going to keep on having Yoshitone beat Young Lions uh, until we figure something out. Because he's, like, really clicking along. Really clicking along here. Then the next one for Tetsuya Endo. Uh, let's see what other junior could really... I mean, Tai Chi, again, could... To keep on using some wins. Might as well. Tai Chi's the fucking man. It's nice to have a save where he's, you know, actually good. One more button. There we go. Just want to make sure we didn't put all out for this. Ah, we did. Don't, don't really need them getting hurt in the undercard. All right. Pretty solid second night, though. Uh, well, yeah. Let's, uh, let's put that out. Yeah, we want to... I'm just going to run here again, just because I know we'll sell it out, no problem. Yeah, 39. Yeah, Shatone getting the win in 943. Or about to say over Alex Fane over Takashita. 54 for Tai Chi and... Tetsuya Endo has Taichi with the Black Mephisto in 954. 63 for Masato Yoshino and Bobby Fish. Lightning Spiral getting the win for Masato Yoshino in 1357. Obviously 20 points better than Bobby Fish. Yeah, and this match has really, really have good chemistry too. As Kyle O'Reilly getting the win with the ankle lock in 1941. Hell yeah. 74 for Go Shizaki and Daiji Shimori against Tetsuya uh, Naito and Daisuke Arada. It's Naito getting the one to start us press in 2001. So we get a 75 for both Go and Naito. 73 for Ishimori and then 56 for Daisuke Arata. 73 though for the main, so it actually got outperformed by the co main. Pretty interesting. It's Morishima and uh, Yuji Hino getting the win over Kensuke Sasaki and Ketsuka Nakajima. It's Yuji Hino pinning Ketsuka Nakajima after the fucking bomb in 2009. Fun little night. Uh, yeah, I was hoping we would get... A, I mean, I figured that would be a lot better on paper, but it just couldn't really hit the next level, I guess. That was interesting. But, uh, yeah, still a pretty good show, though. On to the third day. All right. Uh, for day three here, I think for our main event, I'm thinking having a six-man with uh, Kinsuke... Yeah, probably do Kinsuke, Nakajima, and then either Kento Miyahara or Keno against uh, 
all of the Muscle Bombers. I think that's a pretty solid main event. It's not uh, not the craziest thing. Oh, it's Takeo Moya. See if he can brighten the mood backstage after doing several funny cartoon drawings. Way to go. But I think now it's kind of like pumping the brakes a little bit on some of the top talent. They're going to be on that main show. The uh, Specifically, the, you know, you know, mainly because a lot of guys are going to be working two big shows uh, in the Masai Memorial show and then the uh, Navigation of Grease show. So, have to keep that in mind. Um, but I think it's a pretty good six-man. We could have also went maybe uh, an LIJ Brave six-man here as a main, but uh, we'll go with the Diamond Ring one. And, uh, you know, Gensuke, Nakajima, and uh, we'll go with Mihara. And then Morishima, Yuji Hino, and Walter. It's 20. Uh, with. We'll probably give the win to Gensuke, actually. He's going to beat Walter. But that'd be an awesome match, though. Walter and Gensuke. That'd be electric. They would beat the fuck out of each other. And it would be great. But for this co-main... We might go in that kind of same break because we had kind of done a six man with Lij and Brave before, so I think we'll probably go away from that actually. And uh, I was thinking maybe a tag. As far as uh, this could be fun, Daisuke and then Hero, but then we'll have Ishikawa and Davit. And uh, we're actually going to have Hero beat the GHC Emerald Openweight Champion. Just since we had Devitt lose last time, just feel like that's for the best there. That's a very good co-main event. Definitely could have actually made him at the show, if we're being honest. We might make that the main, now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, let's do it. So that's a great one, too. As far as the rest of the card, I'm kind of thinking people are not really on the main show. So maybe like a, a Minoru Tanaka appearance. That could be fun. Could be... Could be fun. As, uh... Let's see here. So, Kakanuma hasn't really had a lot of great momentum go his way. As far as... Kind of the other juniors. Maybe Tanasaki and Minoru Tanaka. I mean, that's a really good match on paper. They've, uh... They've had a couple of singles. I know they... At the Shrine Navigation Tour... 2013, they had the singles, which Mono and Tanaka won, so we'll give Tanasaki the win this time around. Pretty good match, though. Pretty good match. Could have had this steal the show, too, if we're being honest. I think that's what we're going to do, actually. There you go. Okay, Mono and Tanaka. <laughs> Can't really work that long, so we'll go with the 14. As far as the bottom three, taking another tag. You know, something with Red Dragon, as far as for them to get like a little win back, maybe, uh, but yeah, maybe an Ishimori, Ricky Marvin, or, or Nozawa, which we should have, I mean, the, we should have made uh, Nozawa and Super Crazy a team as far as having them be uh, Los Perros de Mal, uh, de Japon. That would probably be very, very smart to at least have them be an established team. We should have done that really from the beginning of the series. I didn't mean to do that. So we'll uh, go ahead do that now. As we'll see if I can pay a lot of a lot of different things going on, as far as uh, different things that have happened in the world. Yeah, that Pac. Roger Strong team. It's it's kind of like a forgotten lore of like the late uh, twenty or not even the late twenty tens, the uh, late two thousands PWG, because uh, it was kind of like a, another variation of Roddy and Jack Evans teaming up. That was a really fun team. Very that'd be cool to see again in, in current day time as uh, yeah Nozawa. I'm kind of wasting time a little bit. Super crazy. Los Perros de Mar de Bon. Uh, yeah, well, it'd be a unit. Yeah. Um, 
It's funny, you know, they were, uh... Oh, that's already, already a thing. Never mind. I'm an idiot. As, uh, I could have swore we did not have them. Must be individuals. It was. Wow. I don't know why we didn't turn that back on, but that's okay. Now they're finally, uh, get, they're back together. At least. Battles de Mon, de Hapon. And Red Dragon. This should be a really, really good match. As far as, uh, they, they've been pretty back and forth. They haven't had a match, obviously, yet in this year. Be a nice win for uh, Red Dragon, though. So we're gonna actually give the win to Bobby Fish. He can beat... I guess we'll give them Super Crazy. Alright, so just now the undercard stuff. I was thinking... A tag. And, uh, doing Takeo Amori. Let's do, uh, Takeo Amori and Janakiyama. Against... The team of Takeshi Rikio. And... Oh, yeah, I was thinking maybe a no way. It's not a bad idea. But given just Drew Nakayama win over Masao no way. To try to help him out a little bit. Because he desperately, desperately needs it. Turn off the y'all out. <laughs> no business doing all that. And another tag. As far as um, Takashita and Endo. Gonna use them till the wheels fall off for young lions. Uh, but uh, with them, you know, as far as probably a Sasuke Yoshitone matchup, could even go with a Tai Chi Kakanuma, even though they have terrible chemistry from what I remember. Oh, I guess not. Could have swore they did. Oh well. Um, they haven't had a match before either, so Kakanuma's gonna get the win, obviously, because he needs it. go. That's our card. As far as a uh, venue, though, we forgot to change that. That'll work. Probably, could probably win somewhere with, like, 2,000. Yeah, this this works. Alright. It's a 60 for the opener, as uh, Takashita and Endo losing to the Suzuki Goon Jr. team. Suzuki Goon's kind of in a worse spot. I know they don't have any of the big time matches on these next two shows, major shows. Uh, really, with Kenta's injury, I just had him, instead of him working for two months with it, I just sent him on vacation. It's just like, fuck it. You know, we got the Junior Everweight Tag League coming up. We can, like, you know, as far as bounce back with him not being involved on the show. And, uh, you know, as far as, yeah, sure, Sujor and Suzuki, we could do something with them, but also at the same time, it's like we. Are, are focusing a lot of different things right now. We got the LIJ stable debuting, and a lot of things are uh, kind of changing around. And uh, you know, just uh, there's only so many you know spots we can do at the same time. Uh, so we try to make everything impactful. But at least they're getting on the card here and getting a win, even though it's over some young lions. So 49 for the next matchup as uh, Takeshi Rikio and Masao Noe losing to Takeo Mori and Junakiyama. Takeo Mori and Junakiyama, better team there. Makes sense. So 64 for Minoru Tanaka and Naoki Tanasaki. It's Tanasaki with the cast in November 14 24. Really good match there. 75 for the junior tag. Goes Pedro de Mal, De Apon. Red Dragon is Bobby Fish pinning Super Crazy with a Manhattan drop in 1941. It's Kyle O'Reilly with 73. 68 for Nozawa. 64 for Super Crazy. And then a 57 for Bobby Fish. Yeah. Wrong team probably won, but, you know, we're building up Red Dragon for their title matchup as Diamond Ring and the Muscle Bombers of the 75. is Kinsuke, Northern Light Bomb on Walter. I would die to see that. Good stuff. Everybody did really well, but Walter, unfortunately, but still some good stuff. It's an 81. Glad this was the main as Hero and Devitt beating Daisuke Sakamoto and Shuji Shikawa as a Hero with the Death Blow in 2020. Very good match, though. Probably could have went either way, obviously, as each guy was second best guy in the match, so that's cool to see. And yeah, I love that. I love that little match. I thought it was a pretty good show all around. It's on to day four. All right, so we got three more tour shows left. And 
we got backstage incident. Oh, it says, uh, Kensuke Sasaki passing on tips on microphone work to Kento Miyaharo. Wait, Tuck L. As, uh, really the main thing, you know, again, is, is trying not to overbook people. Trying to showcase kind of everybody's skills and whatnot. And also, you know, not have somebody get seriously injured, too, at the same time. So we're in a very unique, uh, little, little spot here. As far as for this, um these next couple of tour dates. I was kind of thinking of having a singles, or even just, um, really, it's, it's tough to really tell as far as what tag I want to do with Money and Mayhem and Strong Big Japan or, or any type of the Strong Pillars of Violence because I would love maybe a big-ass, like, six-man or eight-man as far as, uh, well, I think we'll figure it out, though, but first we got to get the venue locked in. Yeah, we'll go Osaka. Actually, two, I mean, a 2,500 uh, capacity venue might not be a bad idea, because we're at almost, you know, 2,300. We might be able to pack it in all the way. We'll kind of look and see if there's a 2,300 by chance. Eh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, there's a 2,200. Yeah, we'll run here. Just to make sure it's a sellout. But yeah, I was thinking, you know, as far as maybe that a big ass eight man, strong big Japan with Koe Sato. And then we're gonna either use Sasuke. Yeah, I mean, we'll probably use Sasuke actually. And then all of Money and Mayhem. Okada, Ishii, Goto, and guys, Ishii. Here's a 20-minute matchup, and uh, we'll have... I was thinking Goto beating Koei Sato. I think that's what we're going to do here. Seems fair. Seems fair. And as far as... I, I was thinking maybe doing... Something with the... Uh, with Ishikawa and Devitt. Just thinking as far as uh, how, how that could work. Because really, the, the perfect idea would be doing him and Sasuke against Devitt and Zaxi, but obviously we can't do that. We'll save that maybe for another show. But, I, you know, actually, another eight, man. Let's go Go, Marfuji, and then... Aoki and Suzuki against Naito, Soya, and now we'll debut Sombra, English. Very nice eight man. So I, I think as far as for the best case scenario is to have Lij win. Now the problem is, are we gonna have Sombra? A rush beat Aoki or Suzuki. I really don't think that's the great idea because just as far as their pop, I mean, all the Sombras and Rush's pop are like in the tens, and obviously Suzuki's and Aoki's is like in the fifties. So that'd just be pretty crazy to do. I, you know, honestly, I think we're gonna go with a um, Naito or Manabu Soya win. I'm thinking maybe Naito over Aoki. Something like that. Because, yeah, we did the... You know, we've done some matches quite like that. Aoki was about to complain about it. Which is wild. Uh, but then he had a change of heart. Knows the intimidating sight of Manabu Soya cracking his knuckles and glaring and changed his mind. <laughs> That's nuts. Is their pop really that different? Yeah, I mean, that's weird that he's going to complain about Naito uh, beating him, but... I guess it is what it is, but that's a really good one, too. Uh, again, I, I feel like when we deliver a great main and cool main, we could kind of do whatever after that. As, uh, just kind of thinking, maybe a Sujora Suzuki appearance. Not the worst idea in the world. As far as who they face, though, that's a better question. I was thinking maybe Laughter 7 again, but 
But we kind of done that to death. Since they're not doing anything either, that's another stable that's not being a part of any of these two shows, which is pretty crazy. Let's exclude books so we can get a better ideology here. I was thinking maybe uh, doing Rakil Muhammad Yan again as a team. Just kind of. It's a mid card match. It doesn't have to be too crazy. Uh, we'll have it 16, and Suzuki can beat Rikio. And, or actually, he can even beat Mom and Yan for that matter. Um, but I still want to give some wins to Jun Akiyama. So I was probably. Maybe a six man. Do, uh, do something like Takiyama with uh, Tai Chi. And uh, Kakanuma against Akiyama. And then uh, Ishimori, Ricky Marvin. As uh, Jun Akiyama can get the win beating Kakanuma. Even though yeah, they both could desperately use a win. Just kind of going to one over the other. But to also continue kind of like a Brave Suzuki story that's going on on this card is kind of the idea there. But, you know, we got our, our top four now. I want to get away from using at least uh, the Young Lions. N not uh, Iwamato, though, but like Takashita and Endo. So maybe do him and Zack. So, you know, as far as just get to Zack. Like, just getting Zack on the card. They haven't had a match before either. It's not bad. Not a bad match at all. And then our Steal the Show match that we still have to do. Completely forgot about that. Um, Just kind of look and see what we got in the tag scene. If we can do anything. Because we got Nakajima here. And we have uh, Kito Miyahara there. That we could maybe do something with Morishima and Yuji Hino. Because I don't want to go with Kensuke. So it might be a little too too good of a match. But this is, you know, I think this is a very fair matchup. Maybe something a little after 7, though, at the same time. Shibata Sakuraba against, uh, let's see, if there's any A heavyweight team that we can use. Not looking like it. Uh, we can do Takeo Amori <laughs> and, uh, and Tanaguchi. Really getting to the bottom of the barrel, but we're really uh, enhancing, doing a lot of enhancement matches, if you even want to call it that. But Shibata's going to get the win over. Yeah, it could beat Amori, I guess. It's not too crazy. Yeah, we'll split it between those matches. Definitely a top two card. That is actually. We'll bump this up because I got a feeling it's going to be better than that. But yeah, very much a, a top two card. Very good opener, though, between Zack Stewart Jr. and Koji Omato. Zack with the Saber Driver, 951. 68 for Brave and Suzuki Goon. Jun Akiyama getting the win in 1226. Jun Akiyama, worst guy in the match, but you know, he was really off his game. Probably should have beat Takiyama. Didn't really think about that. But that's okay. 63 here, though, for. Suzuki and Sujor against Bamayan at the Ketchu Kiel. As uh, Minoru Suzuki getting the win. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Suzuki got outperformed by Muhammad Yan, but Sujor and, and Yan did the same. Savi Takeshi Rikio way the fuck down there. So 71 for Laughter 7 against uh, Takeo Mori and, Sh and uh, Shoei Tanaguchi. And so, yeah, I mean, Shibata at 81, 56 for Sakuraba. It's Shibata getting the win with the PK kick at 11.53. 73, though, for this 8-man. It's not bad, though, for uh, Rucha and La Sombra for a 44-41 uh, for, you know, guys that are not really over. So that's, that's not bad. I was just got to get him ready to go as Knight with the Glory again. Does he not have the Destino? I could have swore he did. <laughs> I forgot to add that. I'll have to check after this. Uh, after this show. But an 82, though, not a selling show, but that's okay. Because, I mean, we had a pretty solid 8-man. As uh, 
Heroku Goto, Tabit out, Koei Sato, though. Naito, or as uh, not saying Naito, as Okada with a 92. 88 for Tomori Ishii, 76 is for Strong League Japan, 72 for Goto. Maybe did, did about the same, you know, as far as, uh, you know, 57, 56, 58 for Kaisuke Ishii, Sasuke, and, and, uh, Sa and uh, Koei Sato. It's not bad. Not bad at all. As an, an 80, we'll, we'll gladly take that. As we just have two more Row 2 shows left, days 5 and 6. Then we on to the Masawa Memorial Show, and then the Navigation 3 Show. Alright, so this fifth day. We'll, uh... It's tough, because I don't want to go a little overboard with this, as far as uh, what we should have as the main. Uh, but I was thinking maybe something along the lines of having Red Dragon team with Kings Wrestling, and then Speed Muscle team with Kenta Mihara and Keno. I think that'd be a crazy-ass eight-man. As far as having, like, the uh, number one contenders for the junior tag team titles. And then you have, obviously, the, the tag team championship matchup happening on that same card. I just feel like it'd be a lot of fun. It'd be a fun Dragon Gate team, as far as uh, this team over here. With, uh, I don't know why I put Ken away down here. In an all-timeline <laughs> where they, uh... It, uh we're, we're fucking Dragon Gate instead. It's a very... Very solid group. And uh, then the Kings Wrestling with Red Dragon, which that's must be a great team as well. <laughs> as far as in this series. Man, that's a tough question as far as who should win this matchup. Um, boy, oh boy. I think we're going to have Keno actually get a win. He's going to be Bobby Fish. I think that's kind of the best finish we could really come up with, maybe. I gotta keep everybody, like, these guys will have to get involved, and Speed Muscle will have to get involved, so it's just kind of the best of both worlds, really. Very good match, though. Hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. As, uh, for this next one, I could have swore, as far as having, maybe do a rematch of this. More Fuji... And then, uh, this time, maybe do Go instead, since we did the Marfuji Shimar. Let's go with a uh, Go, and, uh, yeah, let's go with Go and Aoki against Soya and, uh, Katoge. Sushi versus Satsushi. So it's, a, it's at least a little different. Go can get that win back over Manabu Soya, too. So I think it just works out well for everybody. Nice. Pretty good co-main, though. Uh, it's not as great as the past co-mains we've booked, but uh, it should still do the trick. While also leaving room for one more show that we could probably have a main as far as have uh, Ishikawa against... Uh, Ishikawa and Sasuke against Devitt and uh, Zack Sabre Jr., uh, but yeah, as far as what we could do singles-wise, I was thinking Kotor Suzuki against Harada. That's a you know very good junior matchup. 18. They've had matches in the past. Yeah, I was about to say Kotor Suzuki beat him during the Global Junior League last year. Let's see, one singles match it looks like. So do that again, but this time Kotor Suzuki again getting the win. Because I just don't, you know, Harada is great and all, but I just don't think it, it'll be meaningful if he beats him here. Oh, yeah, bump this down. 14. That's a pretty good match, though. I, I still think it should do pretty well. Uh, let's see. You know, Alex Payne hasn't really been used a whole lot this I mean, he's been used, I think he's had three matches this year, which is insane. <laughs> we're, we're at the halfway point in the year. He's kind of just a man without a country. He What could have been? He was almost in the Kings of Wrestling. <laughs> for Almost. For a split second, he was a part of the group. And that changed his whole trajectory, really, of his career. Uh, but uh, as far as who he can face... I think it's really Eddie Edwards. I think that'd be a really fun match. Could also do Roddy, too. I think we other junior guys. Then we got Ricky Marvin. 
Yeah, no, nah, probably not the Gucci. Yeah, we got Ogawa, too. Ogawa's not really doing a whole lot. That, that could help out Alex Payne as far as popularity goes. So I think that this could be a good idea for an undercard matchup. Didn't even complain about it. Way to go, Ogawa. But that's definitely going to be like at the bottom two matches. Maybe a little too many singles matches. For my liking, Live Strong Die Hard against... Let's see here. It's tough because, as far as let's exclude, I was thinking having maybe uh, Sombra and uh, yeah, we'll have. Uh, uh, while I'm thinking about this, we'll have Sombra and Roosh uh, face Takashita and Endo just to help them out a little bit. Even though that match is going to suck because of popularity, but it's going to help them out. A lot as I uh, will have Sombra get the first win. Over Endo, because they'll probably outperform him. So, yeah, it's our 1 2. And then a final match we gotta add back to this junior tag match with Live Strong Die Hard. Uh, let's. Yeah, let's do Sas and then maybe not Sasuke and Yoshito. Maybe let's do Yoshito and we could even do. Now, I was thinking what we probably should do, as far as I haven't even thought of this, I don't know why, but we should do a Bushi with Sasuke against Park and Tanasaki. That could be something we do on the next show too. But uh, we'll, we'll keep with uh, Yeshitoen teaming up with Koji Wamato just to see what they can do if they have anything there. It's not going to be the greatest match in the world, but Roddy's going to get the win. I think we need a Steel Show match, so we'll just go ahead and make that a thing. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So our six. Don't think we picked the venue again. <laughs> yeah, we didn't. That was almost bad. There we go. Is this will work? Run the show. Thirty-five. Yeah. Um. But uh, at least that's the end. It was kind of getting better. But yeah, Sombra got outperformed by Takashida, and Rush did the same as that's the end. Though. But all in all, we it looks like we're gonna get Sombra and Rush for their finishers. Fifty-five though for Alex Payne and Ogawa. It's Alex Payne with the sweet spot in ten thirteen. 56 for Live Strong Die Hard against Koji Omano and Yoshi Tones. Yeah, they don't really have any type of chemistry or anything like that, but still it's an okay matchup to have. As Roddy pinning Koji Omano with a Gibson driver in 10 26. Pretty good junior matchup here is Kotor Suzuki and Daisuke Arata. Suzuki, oh, that's right, this was a Steal the Show match. Suzuki getting the win over Daisuke Arata in 14 30, so we had two Steal the Show matches. The so 68 for Go Shizaki and Atsushi Yoki against. Manabu Soya and it's Sushi Kadoge as uh, Goshi Zaki with a limit break for Manabu Soya in 1950. Yeah, go. Best guy in the match for sure. O Aoki and Manabu Soya did the same. So definitely the right team getting the win. is a 72 for this 8-man as Kento Miyahara, Ken on the speed muscle, beat the Kings Wrestling and Red Dragon. It's Ken out with a high right head kick in 2023. 81 for Hero, 76 for Claudio, Kyle O'Reilly with 72. Surprise, Speed Muscle didn't do that well, but uh, just without the chemistry boost, but that's okay. Still, everybody did pretty well, just, you know, obviously Bobby Fish, worst guy in the match, and then Keno, second worst guy in the match. So makes sense they're involved in the finish, but all in all, it was, you know, it was a pretty good show. Decent for what we can do. Then we got our final uh, Row 2 show now, it's day 6. Oh, at least we know kind of what we have as far as two matches we want to do, as far as Ishikawa. And David, as far as, far as Ishikawa and uh, and Sasuke against Devin and Zach, and then doing Pac and Tanasaka against Kotobushi, and yeah, it's, uh, we might do Yoshitone there instead of obviously Sasuke. We've been teaming them up a little bit, but I think that could work. Yeah, we'll see what's going on as far as people coming into WWE. Big signing there. <laughs> 
think everybody knows what, what he's here for. And yeah, another big signing. As uh, we, we kind of alluded to some names for LIJ. Just, his, his contract just so have to run up at the perfect time. There, as uh, hopefully no one get, try to get stolen from us as far as WWE trying to steal someone. That would suck. But on to day six we go. All right, so let's get this on the road. It's already Omega. Let's see if he's already... Okay, he's already in fine form before the show. Keep everyone a great mood with his hilarious road stories. So create a relaxing happy atmosphere. Do we... Below the Golden Lovers uh, return, by just having to te uh, team up with Kotobushi tonight, I don't think we will. <laughs> I, th I think that might be a little sideways. Let's see what Claudio did as he was brought forward by court, accused of failing to pick up his share of the tab at the bar. As the judge, Kazushi Sakuraba found him guilty and sentenced by drinks covered up the show. All right. So for the venue here, yeah, probably go for that. It's probably for the best. See if we can find a. Yeah, we, this will work. Let's get on with the matches here. Is this probably going to be the main in the Ishikawa debit? And then as far as Zack and Sasuke, that's pretty crazy to think that's going to be the main, but I just feel like it's a good idea to at least build up to that match as well. The matches that are happening on that, um, on the Navigation 3 show, because even though the Masao Memorial show is happening first, you could still build up to those matches as well, and it and it'd still be a, a good idea. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, we'll go with... Oh man, that's a tough one. I just maybe maybe have Debit beat Ishikawa. I don't know. As far as maybe Ishikawa beating Zach, I kind of like that. Having the big bad yeah, definitely get the win though for sure. And Ishikawa is the fucking hoss in there. He's gonna tower over everybody in that matchup. Ah, to be man, it's just it's very tempting to use the Golden Lovers now. On this fucking tour show, but I just that that's no way to, I think introduce the care. Ah no, it, I think it's gonna be fine. Yeah, let's uh, let's make sure they're a team first. They should be. But yeah, don't see them. We'll see. Yeah, they are. There they are. Wow, they don't even have a hundred. Uh, that's pretty crazy because they've been. Uh, They've been used by like New Japan for uh, for a good while. A uh, permanent unit or a regular unit is the question. There we go. But uh, yeah, it should be a very good, you know, add a uh, very good addition. To that Super Junior Tag League, though. I mean, you got the Golden Lovers, you got Junior Kings, you got Speed Muscle, you you got some of the best tag teams in the world. Really battling it out. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun. We just might do it. We just might do it. Lovers. Park. Itanasaki. I just feel like we got to. Now that the, we kind of put it out there at least. Because it's weird. Um, we might bump down. So we might do Aoki, Katori, Suzuki, Monos, and Tag on this show. And then have... Uh, maybe not, though. I'm thinking about it. Because I, I think Kenny Omega's got a debut on that main show against Tanasaki. I think that makes more sense than doing Sasuke and Zack. So we'll do that. Uh, maybe not, though. Now I'm thinking about it. It's like we could probably do that at the Navigation with Bree show. Instead, that would probably make more sense. Yeah, we just got a lot of different... A lot of different options to, to really choose from, honestly. It's tough because at Navigation with Breeze, I was going to have Hiro and Claudio face Daisuke, Sakamoto, and Yuji Kobayashi in singles matches. So that's kind of changed. I was going to do Nakajima and Mihara against the Muscle Bombers, two in a tag. And the opener is going to be an eight-man of Momosushi and Tag, Somber and Ro well, I kind of don't like that match. I'm looking at it. It's a little too one-sided. So, yeah, we'll have that show open up with Omega versus... Yuki Tanasaki. All right. We got that squared away. Uh, but we're going to have to steal the show, and Kenny Omega's going to be beating Tanasaki there. Uh, but what a match. 
that shall be. Very excited for that. As, uh, yeah, let's, uh, see what else we could do. As far as building-wise. Just thinking maybe, uh, Daisuke... No, cut over here. And then use, um... And then we could either go with Koei Sato. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with Koei and then have Goto. It's like a, an okay matchup. I have Daisuke get the win over Goto. It's a fun little match, though. Yeah, I think. As Goto was about to complain about it. Uh, and then a change of heart after noticing that they were excited. Daisuke Sakamoto cracking his knuckles and glaring. Way to go, Daisuke. This is probably gonna be better. I don't know. That's tough. That's a great match, though. Either way. That's a great top three. So then for the rest of the card, again, we kind of want to go back to what we're trying to do as far as to get Junakiyama off of his shaky cold streak. So we can beat Ogawa to avenge Masawa booking him to lose to Ogawa in a minute when he was the GHC Heavyweight Champion. One of the worst things Masawa ever did in his life. And at least in the wrestling business, I, oh, we're not going to, that's a, I know in the wrestling business is knowing how wrestlers, uh, Eight out of ten of them could be pieces of shit in, in any given room. Uh, you probably shouldn't be so uh, unjust of what they're probably going to do in their personal life. So you get a side on the uh, side of caution a lot of times. Rush is almost there though in Popwise, so that's cool. Oh uh, yeah, we'll have him beat Koji Wamato. Sure. Sure is like the undercard matchup. My LIJ, uh, LIJ boys, and then we'll have. Is thinking as far as something with Sombra. We could do a six man maybe of that. Uh, do a six man of Moment of Sushin Tag with Sombra. Which I like. That's a fun team. Um, and against the. Uh, you know, obviously just all of kind of Brave, the junior guys, so Aoki, Suzuki, and they. We could either go with Ricky Marvin, that'd be kind of cool to have like a Luchador in there with Sombra, so that, we'll do that instead actually. It didn't make this a little bit more of like an undercard matchup, but uh, kind of want to have Sombra beat Ricky Marvin. Kind of want to do that. We'll, we'll just kind of see if Ricky's down for it. I'm assuming he won't be. Wow. Ricky Marvin, a solid guy. Yeah, he's the man. Interesting undercard. Very good top card. Of, uh, so, yeah, we think we are good to go. We picked our venues. So, yeah, let's run this final tour day. Yeah, 24. I figured that was going to be pretty bad. A split leg, legged power bomb for Rush in 1008. Brought the crowd down. And all that. 37 for Junagama and Yoshinara Gawa. Junagama getting the win in 1001. 57 for the six man. Samba's getting better, uh, which I figured he would. He just got to get some wins. He'll be ready to go, though, for sure. It's a good performance, though, from Sombra. For, I mean, this. Second match in the company, third match in the company, already doing almost in the 50s. It's a good sign, good sign for sure. But that's a very good six man. That's a fun six man. I, I definitely tune in to see this 73 for the tag here. As yeah, I mean, the golden lovers they're ready. As <laughs> uh, Kenny Omega with the golden shower over in Yuki Tanasaki in 1356. Yeah, I mean, that's just that's insane, really, to think how good they're gonna be. Yeah, that's. That's nuts. That junior tag league is going to be crazy. Is uh, Daisuke Sakamoto and Koei Sato against Kazuchika Okada and Roki Goto. Daisuke and Koei Sato not great of a team, um, which hurts Daisuke's uh, as far as injury performance and whatnot. But at least Okada and Goto did very well for themselves, so still it was a very good match. 77 for our main event. It's Ishikawa with the great Sasuke. Couldn't really get there, but uh, Devitt and Saxby Jr. did really, really well. That was... Zack taking the Hawaiian Splash Mountain in 1947. Very good show, though. Like the top part. This kind of stunk, but that's okay. That's what the undercard's all about, trying to elevate some guys. But now we got to take a break as uh, we have to add all the matches onto the card on the free booking page. I forgot to do that, so we'll take a pause for the cause. And then we'll be back for the Masao Memorial show. So that should be 
a lot of, uh, I mean, that should be one of our best shows, I think, really, uh, with uh, what's going on for that Masao Memorial Show. It's going to be tough to beat last year's, but I think it's it's got a good shot uh, of being the best one yet. We'll see. All right, so for our Masao Memorial Show, I know we've had it at the Osaka Dome in the past. Uh, we've been in the Budokan, also Jinju Stadium. I'm not really sure where we're going to run it this time around. That's the first one on Wrestle Universe, though, so that's pretty cool. We have a backstage instance. Goto, this is Barbara Wrestle Court, accused to, uh, of making a mess backstage, not cleaning it up, and annoying everyone else by not doing so, as the judge, Kazushi Sakurawa, found him guilty and sentenced to clean it up and then buy drinks for him after the show. As, uh, yeah, we'll take a look and see, because I want the, obviously, the Navigation of Three show to be in Kanto if we can. I guess we don't really have to, but, uh,. I would kind of prefer it to be that way. But it looks like they all have been mildly or slightly reduced. So I just kind of have to think strategically more than anything. We'll look and see the Osaka Dome as far as I think it's yeah, 55. So it won't be a sellout. It'll be pretty close. Though, um, and then Kanto, obviously, you know, Jinju Stadium will be packed to the fucking gills. No problem. I mean, we'll be... Ready to go with that sellout, no problem. But we just ran that in May. It's kind of the thing. Obviously with the Great Voyage and Tokyo show. It's probably meant to just run somewhere unique, at least from that perspective. If we can. We haven't ran here since day one in Chubu. Just to take a look here and see what we got. As far as like, you know, 40,000. Yeah, the Nagoya Dome. It's not bad. It'll be a sellout. Yeah, I don't mind that, to be honest. Alright. So our main event, of course. Kings Wrestling versus Kinto Mihara and Keno. They'll be getting the win, of course. Claudio beating Keno there. And that's a huge win for the Kings Wrestling. Like that. As for uh, then Go And uh, Marfuji against Naito and Manabu Soya. Marafuji getting the win, beating L.I.J. Uh, so that's a huge win for Bray, first of all, to kind of stop L.I.J. in the tracks. But Marafuji's going to beat Manabu Soya, so it's kinda, it kind of protects the champ. But also, you know, I think it's just well for everybody. And really puts over how great of a team Marafuji and Koshizaki really are. It's kind of the big thing there, too, because they are a pretty great team. It's for the number one contendership matchup, Kinsuke and Morishima. And it will be Kinsuke Sasaki. Taking on Tetsuya Naito at Navigation with Breeze. So that should be a lot of fun. Kinsuke getting the win. Uh, he's a road agent. Uh, that would be Chun Akiyama. Very good match though. Then the sixth man. Strong Big Japan with Sasuke. I guess it's just that. Or actually a uh, Strong Big Japan rather with Shuji Shikawa against All Money Mayhem. This is very very tough. This is a hell of a six man. Uh, but we gave it to Strong Pills of Violence. And having Daisuke beat Tamari Ishii. Then the Yuji Hino Nakajima matchup, which Yuji Hino will be beating Katsuki Nakajima. So they've actually had a singles match before back at the Tag League, or at the uh, Global League rather, last year, which got an 83. Really good match. Nakajima beat him. So this is going to be the second time they've had a singles match against each other. So Yuji Hino getting the win there. Then the Junior Tag Team uh, number one contendership matchup Red Dragon, Speed Muscle. Speed Muscle getting the win. Since put this to steal the show at 16. Yoshino getting the win, though, for his team. And that will be Speed Muscle versus Kushida and Raisuke Taguchi for the Navigation with Breeze. Then Sasuke and Zack Sabre Jr., which I completely forgot they don't have any chemistry, so this match might suck. Which is unfortunate. And then Aoki Suzuki against Momonosu Shintag. A huge win for the Los Angeles de Anables de Apollon team. Figured since we had them losing in the main, or in the co-main, rather, we'll have them... Uh, Momonosu should dag win the opener and get a huge win too. They've never beaten him before, as far as in the past. In 2012 was the last time they really had like a, a 2v2 match. So it's been a while. I think it's, uh, it should be a really good match though, hopefully. Fingers crossed there. So we'll have a couple of pre show matches too. As far as, uh, let's see what we got. I think it's six man. Actually, this is going to be a really good pre-show matchup because I just I already can see it as far as Sujiora, Suzuki, and Tai Chi against Laughter Seven, and uh, it'll be Taguchi. 
Yeah, but this is going to be really, really good. As far as, and then uh, Lapier 7, of course. Shibata, Sakuraba. Really, really good match, though. Yeah, this match is going to be pretty insane. Yeah, we'll give it to Laughter 7 as we'll have Sakuraba beat Sujuara. Very good match, though. Very, very good. I might actually bump this to the pre-show. Now I'm thinking about it. And have this be... Because this is just what so much better of a match. I think that's what we're going to do. A little change of plans. We're adding to the card. Because this is just way better of a match. we got to cut down some time, though. Uh, but actually, no, we don't. We just got to... Oh, no, it is a pre-show. Okay, yeah, we do have to cut some time down. Four minutes, to be exact. Yeah, I like it here, to be on. Um, kind of two junior tag matches back-to-back, -back, though. I think we'll have... Yeah, I think that's for the best. Let's take two minutes off of this. Let's take two minutes off of this. Or three, actually. Add another minute to this. There we go. And we're all squared away for one more matchup. I'm wanting a heavyweight tag if we can. I know it's going to be pretty tough. There's not a lot of heavyweight guys left, but there is Muhammad Yan, at least. And it's through Muhammad Yan and Jun Akiyama against a heavyweight team of Rikio. And I mean, not Rikio. Maybe yeah, just Tanaguchi Masada, no way. Uh, Uncle Jun getting the win, though. Doesn't really matter who gets the win. Or who takes the fall, rather. Between do they? That's a pretty good uh, Mitsuha Masama Memorial Show, though, I think. As far as it's a fun main. Good stuff in, in between. I think it's a pretty complete card. I already forgot what the last show was. So 81 last time around. So we'll see if we can beat it. The 61 for the first of the two pre-show matches. Mohamed Yandu was really, really good. Carrying that matchup is Junakiyama getting the win in 10-17 over Masao Inoue. 63 for Sasuke and Zack Sabre Jr. So yeah, they, they don't click. But it was an okay matchup still. 63, we'll take it. See how the opener does. 75. Great win for Daisuke Arata over Katora Suzuki. Probably should have had him beat Atsushi Aoki because it was a bit closer. But still a really good matchup though. Very, very fun opener. Got the show off to a strong start. Got the crowd out too. It was very, very nice. 80, so I'm glad we added this. It was going to be too short. I, I completely forgot about that. Space down on that, but that's okay. That's still a really good match as Sakuraba tapping out Sujiwara with the cross on bar. Yami yeah, Shibata with a 92, 73 for Sakuraba, 71 for Taguchi. Kind of wish I would have made an 8 man now that I'm thinking about it. Add Kushida involved, get Takanuma involved as well. Just would have been a little bit more complete, but that's okay. Another 80 here as uh, Bobby Fish. And Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly did better than uh, Speed Muscle, which is crazy. Way to go, Kyle O'Reilly. But um, Sato Yoshinino getting the win over Bobby Fish with the Lightning Spiral and being the number one contenders. They'll face Kushida and Raisuke Taguchi. At the next show is an 85 for Nakajima and Yuji Hino. Yuji Hino with a fucking bomb in 2223. Way to go, Nakajima, though, with an 89. Love to see that. A 91 for the sixth man. Big this be really, really good. And it. Definitely delivered as uh, the Moonsault Press for Dice Gay in 2155. It's good stuff. Ishii was off his game a little bit, but that's okay. It's okay. And 86 for the number one contendership matchup for the GC Everweight title as Kinsuke Sasaki with a 90. You'll love to see it as he gets one of the King Buster over Morshin. This would be an incredible matchup, though, as far as those two. They were tag team partners, too, at one point. They were the tag champs. At one point, uh, that was, you know, kind of another fun wrinkle to that story as well. As Marufuji and Goshizaki beating Wanabu Soya and Tetsuya Naito. Yeah, I mean, just what a great team, you know, Marufuji and Goshizaki are. And it, it proves it there with a great performance. Getting one over Tetsuya Naito and Manabu Soya. Yeah. Yeah, just couldn't do it. Really thought Kings Wrestling had that in the bag as far as being able to deliver a 85-plus rating, but they did not. As uh, the Kings make their first defense, though, of this reign. As Claudio pinning Ken off to the Kings reign supreme of nearly everyone. 25-57, I mean, that's just a tough-ass card. 
that card was crazy. Uh, you know, you had a lot of great matches. A lot, a lot of great matches on that card. But uh, just couldn't outperform the tag matches. The co-main was still a, a really great show. That six-man was crazy. A lot of great stuff, though. Increased our popularity in 40 regions. Thanks to Russell Universe. Just put, put over Okada. I feel like we, we've done that a lot, though, as of late. More Fuji. And uh, Claudio. Let's get him some love. Kind of sprinkled around, you know, across the uh, top three matches was kind of the idea. Well, top two and then the title match. Still a really good match, though. Uh, and a really good show, that main event. Uh, you know, just couldn't really follow everything else. But the Navigation with Breeze show, as far as we'll have to copy this and bring it over to the notepad in the game. But very good Masao Memorial show. And I'm hoping next time around in uh, 2015, we'll be able to have an even better show. So it's like Evil is staying with uh, New Japan. And we got him. Shingo Takagi coming in. Awesome. So, uh, I don't know why I looked at this, but uh, to go to this, to the notepad, is, oh, it's already on here. Never mind. Well, you do have to change at least some of this, though, I believe. Yeah, we only had the title matches brought over. So we just got to get the bottom half. But uh, you see, obviously, the Naito... Matchup, which is going to be Kensuke Sasaki. We'll copy that over. Which, that should be a banger of a matchup, though. I'm very excited to see how that plays out. So that should be really, really good. Then Devitt and Shuji Shikawa for the GHC Emerald Openweight title. Oh, I forgot that <laughs> we have as Prince Devitt. King Devitt. There we go. Uh, it's a junior heavyweight title matchup. Pac versus uh, Kota Ibushi can... Abushi keep this great reign going. Have a great match with Pac. I think they will. Then the Strong Big Japan Kings of Wrestling singles matches. Is here on Daisuke is the first one. Claudio and... Or is the second one, rather. Is Claudio and Yuji Kobayashi is the first one. And Katsuhiko Nakajima and Kento Miyahara against the Muscle Bombers. Should be very, very good to see if Morishima can bounce back after losing to Kinsuke Sasaki for that number one contendership. And then Kenny Omega taking on Nuyuki Tanasaki to kick off the show. As I just want to make sure we have... Six, or we have eight, rather. Yeah, we... Oh, no, we have seven. Unless I'm <laughs> miscounting. Yeah, we do only have seven matches. So we gotta add one. How fun. So we'll add another one here. Uh, we'll uh, take a break real quick, though, just as far as get everything caught up. I just realized, I was like, oh, yeah, we only have seven matches. So we gotta get that final eighth one in here, and then uh, we'll run the show. So I completely forgot. It's the junior tag team. Matchup that I forget to add over Speed Muscle versus Kushida and Rasuke Taguchi. So that is the matchup that I was missing. But uh, yeah, this navigation with Breeze tour that, you know, as far as it's been very well for us. Last year was crazy, though. I see we got a 96 Kenta Shibata match and then the tag team match for the Kings Wrestling versus Go Shizaki and Marafuji, which was very, very good. We'll see what happens here as far as uh, it's been about a week since the. Masao Memorial Show. So we should be good to go as far as running any venue we want. Yeah, let's do it. Let's run the Tokyo Dome. So yeah, we should definitely run the Tokyo Dome. How exciting. Very, very exciting. Main event, of course, Naito. Kinsuke, but there's some shenanigans. As LIJ, it's a bit of custom that Naito's been winning because of these interferences. Not only uh, Shingo, the debuting Shingo's been in but the returning Sonata as well. I thought about, you know, changing them to, you know, Sonata in all caps, even Shingo in all caps, just to kind of have them be a little different. But since Sonata's already been, like, established as say, Sonata in this save as well, in Pro Signala, I uh, kind of went against that. But it, it was a, a fun little thought. But that, this is going to be a great match, though. Very, very excited for it. We'll have Taoe be the agent. Then the co-main... King Devitt versus Shuji Shikawa. And Devitt, shockingly, I think, as far as some people probably didn't expect this coming, but King Devitt, he's the first Gaijin to win the Emerald Openweight title. That's pretty cool. And uh, beating Shuji Shikawa as well, I think this is just great for both guys. Ishikawa, what a run, though, as champ. Even though he only had the belt for 106 days, they were some pretty impactful days, though, from February to June. Had a couple of big-time matches. Had the best match ever with him and Nakajima for the belt when he won it. And then had a great defense against uh, Tomorishi as well. 
he's done really well with the belt. But it's just kind of time, you know, and it's time to elevate Devitt and really give him a big time moment. And uh, this is get bigger than that, really, as far as for him, someone who's done almost everything. He's he could be the first guy as far as um, well, technically not the first guy. He'll be the uh, the second guy, rather. I was thinking, I was like, he'd actually be the first. No, that's actually actually Marfuji would be the first grand champion in this uh, new ideology. But uh, he'd be the uh, the second though, so that'd be cool. If he does, if he does go on to, to bigger and better things than the heavyweight scene, uh, then we're gonna have the Pac Abushi match next. Which thought about it, kind of went back and forth with this one. I feel like Abushi's, you know, just kind of getting to the, you know, he, him, and um, Shuji Shikawa have held the belt for around the same amount of time. Abushi a little bit longer, 134 days. That'll be his fourth defense, which is gonna be the. Uh, oh, the second most for this save, which is pretty crazy to think, as Ishimori had eight. Obviously, that's going to be tough to really beat, but, you know, he passes guys like Devitt and guys like Loki, and I think it's going to be huge, you know, as far as for him. And, uh, yeah, he's got obviously a big month coming up next with the Junior Everweight Tag League as well, so he's looking to join that into the accolades as well for Kota Ibushi. And then the Junior Heavyweight Title Matchup, Junior Tag Team Heavyweight Title Matchup as... Speed Muscle are going to beat Kushida and Rice Gataguchi. And you are looking at a, a team in Speed Muscle who have won the Global Junior League in the past. Uh, the Junior Tag League, to be exact. That was back in 2012 when they won. And then they won the belts, but they quickly had to drop them. And to be back again, looking to have their third... And it would be their third reign of champs. is pretty crazy. Uh, but to have them not only look to kind of reclaim what they had lost with the losing to Devitt and Taguchi, the Apollo 55, looking to kind of avenge that and uh, have a, a great reign as junior cha as junior tag teams. But uh, it's weird, because really, Kushida and Taguchi, this will you know, only having two defenses. That's one of the fewest of the save. But they've done pretty well, though, I think, as tag champs, junior tag champs specifically, because they've had pretty good matches, you know, definitely as far as was it on the level of the Junior Kings run? Nah, probably not, but they still, you know, were very solid in 82s and 83s. I think they're going to have a great match here with the uh, Speed Muscle team. So I think it's going to be very, very exciting, though. I think it's a great match. Then we're going to go on to the Strong Big Japan Kings of Wrestling singles matches. It's Daisuke Sakamoto and Chris Hero. Daisuke's beating Chris Hero, so that's the first time that Daisuke's beaten him. Every other time in singles matches, Chris Hero's always beaten him. Rather, it's the Global League in 2011, Global League uh, last year in 2013. He finally gets his first win over him, so that's huge for Daisuke, which he was a little upset. It's a little keep him strong. 28 minutes, though. It's a long time. And then uh, the Claudio Yuji Kobayashi matchup, which I think everyone knows well that's going to go. Is uh, Claudio going to get the win? I was thinking as uh, far as I think they've never had a singles match. Yeah, they have never had a singles match between these two, which is pretty cool. Well, I mean, this is going to be a really good match. Really, really good match there. And then the. Some muscle Bombers, Diamond Ring, tag matchup on the undercard, which is crazy this is the undercard. This is going to be a really good match. So Morishima's going to beat Nakajima to kind of get that win back over Diamond Ring. and Yeah, I mean, they've had matches in the past as far as uh, they've kind of been almost 50-50 up to this point. The first time, Miyohara and Nakajima won. That was back in 2012 at the Great Voyage in Tokyo Volume 2 show. Then they beat him again as far as um, in the uh, the triple th the, the 2v2v2 matchup which is kind of cool, but oh, no, as far as 2v2 matches, they were, you know, 1-1 one one going into this night, so that's like that that was, you know, as far as in, going into the tipping point and having Diamond Ring fall just a little short, though, unfortunately, but they, they you know, got a lot to work on as a team still, as Kenny Omega, Nuki Tanisaki to kick off the show, Kenny Omega debuting in a big way as far as on the main stage like this. Uh, in the Tokyo Dome, kicking off the show and meeting Nuki Tanasaki, which we'll have to cut off three minutes of time. We'll probably cut a little bit off this, to be fair. And yeah, we just got to change as far as this. Uh, this great Sasuke is giving a little too much time road agenting. I have Busa going to agent that. Okay, that's perfect. So our two pre-show matches, as far as what we're looking for, um, it's tough. Tough, really, as far as uh, I was thinking, Sombra. Maybe Sombra and Keno, just because I want to see that match. <laughs> that seems very intriguing to me. Uh, Alex Payne, probably. 
get Alex Payne involved. Sombra's gonna beat him, though, unfortunately. Poor Alex Payne. Poor one out for the kid. Yeah, I mean, we'll keep you strong. Worst thing, I mean, that's... Not a bad idea. Uh, but as far as kind of the rest of the night, uh, this this other pre-show matchup, uh, that's a good question. I was thinking maybe heavyweight tag though, but we've kind of done that too at the same time. Maybe another Drew Nakayama win. I think that's what we're gonna do. It's him and Amori against yeah, Mama Yan and uh, Rikio. Drew Nakayama to beat to get you Rikio. I also want to have a post-show angle with um, all of LIJ kind of celebrating and kind of being like, wait, we outsmart you again. Because they're, they're really being, in a weird way, it's kind of funny how, how they're booked because it kind of mirrors what Bullet Club did as far as having a lot of interferences when they first kind of established and kind of getting that old traditional heat. And that's kind of what we're going with as far as with LIJ because I wanted Naito to be the champion that's Stealing wins more than anything, and uh, as far as because he's he's still obviously great, but it's just really establishing Lij as he keeps on pulling you know more and more names out of thin air seemingly to join his stable, and and he's creating this kind of super group in Lij obviously and using you know the real guys that end up being a part of that stable, but you know Naito, Shingo, Sonata. With um, Nabu Soya and then Daisuke and Mitsuchi Kotoge. As uh, this is going to be a very very fun matchup though. Uh, that I'm super uh, as far as this stable, you know, that this Lij is Lij and full force. And we also got to add Whoosh and Sombra. So they have th these eight guys, talent from all over the world, have some of the biggest names. In the sport, having a great team like Manabu Soya and Sonata too. Like it's crazy how Manabu Soya, I feel like is in the role of like Evil was as kind of like the first in like command. In a way, he was the first guy to join Naito, and it kind of mirrors that same story. And um, having Daisuke Rada and Katoge kinda is in a way the same role of like Hiromu and Bushi as far as the junior guys, and and having Roosh and. And Sombra as, you know, as themselves, as far as what they were part of, as far as uh, LIJ uh, for in CMLL. But, oh, uh, yeah, maybe just have kind of the, the top four kind of cut the promo and everybody else is kind of in the background. But very, very cool to see how LIJ kind of rolls moving forward. But hell of a navigation of the free shows. We'll see how it runs as uh, Junak Yama pinning to catch Rikio. 1026. We're trying with Drew Nakayama. I'm going to try to get him onto the right path. Is Alex Payne and Sombra. It's actually pretty close. <laughs> and Sombra getting a win at 944. Again, we got to add his finishers. They don't click to start off the show. It's not great, but it still is an okay matchup. It's Kenny Omega getting the win in 1257. The 87, though, for the Muscle Bombers against Katsuki Nakajima and Kento Miyahara, you see there. Not of selling show, but the team of Morishima and Yuji Hino just running away with this one. Kenta Miyahara, not at that same level as Kathy Nakajima, unfortunately. 79, though, for Okabayashi and Claudio. It's Claudio getting the win in 21 minutes with your Cola Bomb. 84 for Chris Hero and Daisuke Sakamoto. Again, no, no fucking selling between these two. It's Bridger German Suplex from Daisuke and Chris Hero in 25-25. The 72, so we have a broken tailbone from Aizuke Taguchi. Very unfortunate. Uh, that is a tough, tough injury to deal with. Yeah, you know, as far as they were the better team, thanks to really Taguchi's probably injury for the most part, but good performance, though, from, from both guys. It just, you know, doesn't really click because it's too short. And, yeah, we probably should have just had the opener be the steal of the show, even though they didn't have any, you know, chemistry as far as that would have probably been better for this match as a whole, which sucks. But it's still an okay matchup. That was a 90 for our junior heavyweight title matchup as Kota Bushi beating Pac. Three point difference between the two. Golden Star Press for Kota Bushi getting the win in 23 16. A very, very good matchup there. And then 91 for King Devitt and Shuji Shikawa. That is a bad, bad sign for our main event as King Devitt with Bloody Sunday picking a Shuji Shikawa for Bloody Sunday too. And he outperforms him. 
and is the new GHC Emerald Openweight Champion. Is Kings of Wrestling got the tag belts, and you know, Devitt getting the Emerald Openweight title. And gold is starting to go to the Kings of Wrestling stable. It's an 84. Kings Case Society with a 91. Thanks to the interference from Shingo Takagi and Sonata. Tetsuya Knight able to start us press open for Destino. I made it. I, I, it's in his moveset finally. I was hoping he did it, but that's okay. We'll take the Stardust Press as a very fun finishing sequence. You know, having Shingo debut uh, as far as having you know, Sonata return and LIJ post-show angle celebrating that when they stand tall, these eight men, LIJ looking to be the, the biggest, the strongest force in Pro Wrestling Noah. As far as it even, they start doing like the, the send off, saying the names of everyone, and posing with the bells, confetti falling down in the Tokyo Dome. Big night for uh, Pro Wrestling Noah, our first Tokyo Dome show, and it was 52,000. Good bit of people there. The 84, though, very, very good show. Didn't quite get there because it couldn't follow the co-main or even the match before that. But uh, some great stuff though on this card, absolutely. As uh, we're going to give some love to Kensuke Sasaki, though. I mean, what a great performance. Gets a big-time title match to main event to Tokyo Dome against Setsu Naito. And puts the kid over. I'm going to give some love to, to Devitt as well for his performance. And uh, honestly, Morishima. I mean, Morishima killed it in his matchup. As well, I, I thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time for the Junior Heavyweight Tag League. Take care, everyone.